Hi, I'm David Simonson with Help for Life. And one of the biggest advancements, I think, in the 20th century was the use of the internet. And while it's probably been really a really positive experience for some, I think also it's been a very negative experience for some. Because if you think about the internet, that's like let, when you have the internet in your home, it's like letting the world into your home. And if you sit your kid at a computer with unrestricted internet access, you're letting anybody and anyone um, have access to your kid essentially, or you're letting your kid have access to anyone or anybody. And so one of the first things I always encourage parents to do when um, allowing their kids to use internet is to have some type of uh, protection program on their computer because of viruses, because of pedophiles, because of internet pornography, because of just inadvertently putting in a phrase in Google and anything can come up, I think it's imperative for parents to have some type of um, protective, so protective software on their computer. Now I know that um, Microsoft, and, and I'm not sure about Apple, but I, I think it's very easy nowadays to go out and get some type of computer software. And then you have a conversation with your kids about what is appropriate and what isn't appropriate in the home and, and for, for viewing. And I think a combination of you as the parent being proactive and having conversations with your kids along with some type of protective software for the internet could totally help um, protect your kid and keep your family safe as well. I'm David with Help for Life.